everybody, how are ya? We are at this beautiful facility in Palm Desert, California. Um, we are going to talk about today is the two-handed back. The two-handed back has something very important to remember that is mainly done with your no racket hand. If you are righty, the no racket hand will be your left. If you are left hand, your right hand will be the one that does all the work. So is the back is the arm that is behind behind in the back that comes needs to come through the ball. So this video is for players that are one-handers that want to explore the two-handed backhand or this video is for uh, beginners that want to work on the two-handed backhand which I recommend is a lot easier. Um, all right we're going to work on a couple details on how to do this very simple first of all find a wall uh, that way you have a lot more contacts uh, per minute and start working on the left hand only let's start simple the left hand is going to be hold at the highest point of your grip that's where it's going to be and for now we're going to just touch the racket with fingers on my right hand to tell my brain how is um, my back can be done entirely with my left hand maybe 80 percent left hand 20 percent so it's it's not entirely with one but it's 80 20. Uh, i'm a righty so this my left hand is going to be in charge so we're going to train my left hand we're going to train my left hand to come through the ball and get a feel for it believe me it takes very little time for your left hand to understand this and for your brain to say i can do this very fast i'm one on one hander and I'm just improving this two-handed backhand and it's pretty much simple you just gotta commit all right here we go let's hit a few balls on the, on the wall that way you have an idea what you're gonna be doing out there on your own all right here we go Perfect. So we did about 30 contacts or so in less than a minute. So uh, that's what we want. We want to hit a lot of balls and we want to uh, just emphasize it on the backhand. Get this back, uh, this uh, left arm used to doing the work. It needs to be strong and needs to be in time with the ball. Uh, you notice that I missed a couple. Uh, it's not that easy, but hang in there just have fun with this um, initially I was just doing one hand then I was tapping my right hand and then I was gonna do a two completely here comes the step number two once we get all that now I need to do uh, two things make sure your front shoulder leads every time the ball you're approaching the ball to hit the ball dip that front shoulder and find that ball with your left shoulder first then my left hand takes over. So my left arm will come through the ball and we will uh, uh, just commit to do this. Any hesitation will be not good for this one. So here we go, I'm gonna start doing a two handed backhand, very light with my right, 20%, 80% with my left. Here we go.
working. Good. Keep on swinging that ball. Um, as you notice one thing, how do I prepare to get to this ball? Um, my arms are with my body. I don't try to reach the ball with my arms. I try to keep my arms tucked in as close to my body as possible. That makes me move my feet better. That makes me prepare better and not rely on my reaching to hit the ball. I it relies more on my feet to get to the right position. It will pay off, definitely will pay off. So watch my, how my arms are tucked in. My grip is really close to my left leg all the time. I commit with my shoulder in and then I hit or I swing through the ball and it's all driven by my back arm which is my left arm and it's, that's the case for all the righties. Here we go. Arm straight, tucked in. Slow motion, it will be something like this. Like that. Step. Commit with the power shot. After you work on that, um, work on more length of your swing. But gradually. Keep it as long as you keep the ball in play at least maybe 20 times, 30 times in a row, having a great contact, then move up to the next thing. The next topic will be chin and shoulder. The chin and shoulder is the first, as I move to the ball, I bring my front shoulder towards my neck, and other words, I move my head, I commit, put my shoulder in, left, uh, my right chin, or my chin is on my right arm, shoulder. After I continue my swing, and the end of the swing, my chin touches my left shoulder. So my left shoulder pops, comes through, 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 and find my chin. Notice that my ending is left arm straight. And pretty much that will be it for now. That's a lot of homework to do. All right, let's practice that a little bit more and you can find a wall and hit it. If you hit with a partner, that's fine, but try to do short court from the service line on and just get a feel, get a lot of touches, a lot of touches, even if it's slow, but it's a lot of context, that's the key, versus hitting from the baseline and hitting one, two, and miss, and gotta go and pick up a ball and you uh, spend more time picking up balls. So short and tap, tap, tap. All right, one more drill and here we go. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like and stay tuned for more videos. There's more into, as it gets more technical, this two-handed back and maybe creating a little loop afterwards. And stay tuned for that because that's going to create a little bit of that, that slingshot effect. But for now, this is a lot of homework. Get out there and practice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks.